losing that unwanted body fat is simple. Not easy, but simple. But if you follow this diet, then it will lean on the easier side. And that diet is the carnivore diet. And I really don't like the word diet because that implies you're using a cheat code. You're just doing this to achieve a goal and then you're going to stop. For me, the carnivore diet is actually the carnivore lifestyle. I'm going to tell you why it worked for me. But to start off with, I tried pretty much everything. I tried plant-based. I try, I really don't know the difference between vegan and plant-based. I have a feeling that plant-based is mostly plants, but you use some animal product, uh, products such as cheese and stuff like that. But vegan is no animal products at all, I think. I don't know. But I tried plant-based. Vegan, I don't know. Pretty sure they're similar. I tried keto. And then I tried carnivore. And hands down, carnivore is the best. Now, personally, I do a mostly carnivore diet. And when I say mostly, it's because I grew up on that unhealthy stuff. I'm glad I gave it up. The McDonald's, Burger King, the French fries, the soda, the juice. I don't miss any of that. I'm glad I gave it up. But one thing I can't give up is the chocolate. So for things like that, for the sweets, because I do have a sweet tooth, whenever I try to eat, well, whenever I do eat those things, I try to find the healthiest products possible. And one such thing, I found these truffles by watching Tom Stilauer. He partnered with Thrive Market to make these chocolate truffles made. Well, of course, they have chocolate. One of the flavors has some mocha and then another flavor is like pecan and it's sweetened with allulose so it's not sweetened with sugar and stuff like that so it's keto and i try to find these keto treats i in the past i don't know if you've seen but i made videos about fat snacks which is a keto product but since then i just cut out almond flour almonds as well that's another thing from keto there is number one the filling of it when eating i'll still get that bloating that i don't get on carnivore uh when just eating mostly meat so i'm glad to get rid of that so when i started plant-based even though i tried plant-based and even with keto sure i lost some weight initially from the keto plant-based pretty much the same but i believe that's from the fact that i wasn't eating those highly processed foods and not the, didn't drink the soda and stuff like that i would well with the keto i was limiting carbs but you still get the fiber and stuff like that and when it comes to health and how i felt i didn't feel like super great i would still get uh lethargic after having a good meal and when i eat i want to eat in fact i want to feast i want to just eat until i'm full these whole three meals a day, and I'm not like, oh, the first meal didn't satisfy me. Now I have to wait all day to eat another meal. And now what about snacks and stuff like that? I like it with carnivore. I just eat until I'm full, and that will satisfy me for most of the day. I'm active, too. So usually, even though I eat until I'm full, sometime later in the day, I want to have a little bit more food, but it's much better. But the big thing is, the lack of sickness i went full carnivore like well more strict carnivore in january of 2023 and throughout that entire year i did not get sick not once not during those flu seasons or the cold seasons where people get the stop nose that hard to breathe and the coughing and all this stuff didn't get any of that I didn't have such great results on keto and plant-based. And another main reason why I decided to go with carnivore is the fact that plants are trying to kill us. Well, I like the, I like the way it sounds. Of course, they're not strictly trying to kill us because they don't know. They don't care about us. But the fact of the matter is 
that plants have defense chemicals. And this makes sense if you think, even if you study biology, I wish biology would stress this thing, which actually impacts our lives instead of learning about bacteria and all these other things and dissecting pigs. No one cares about this stuff, but this is important. So in life, all living creatures are trying to survive and reproduce. And to survive, sometimes you have to defend yourselves because you get attacked by some dude or run away. Animals are able to run away or defend themselves. They have, some animals have sharp teeth. Some animals have sharp claws. And some animals are good at riding away, camouflaging, all this stuff. They have outer defenses. But plants aren't like that. They stay in the same place. And their way of surviving is to produce these chemicals that are essentially toxins, poisons, that kill off all the animals that they don't want eating them. I know there's some relationships where the plant needs the animal to eat it to uh, reproduce, to spread its seed or whatever. But the main point is these chemicals are slowly damaging our bodies. Even though we don't feel the results now, we feel them later on in life. All of these, all of this diabetes, this uh, achy joints and stiff back, barely can walk, uh, eyesight diminishing, Alzheimer's, all of that stuff. That's humans weren't meant to go with that. And we have seen a big increase in all of these diseases and all of these problems because this, um, not only the American diet, all of these processed diets, all of these plant dominant, plant based diets are introducing plants that will kill you. Now, I'm not completely against, well, personally for me, uh, I try to limit, I'm not try, it's just an easy limit plants. I'll tell you about my main carnivore diet later on in another video. I don't want this video to get too long, but that's pretty much it's the easiest thing. Uh, eat till you get full or not full. Eat until the meat stops tasting good. I believe that's what Anthony Chafee, uh, who first informed me about the carnivore diet uh, when I watched his podcast and stuff like that. He says, eat until it stops tasting good. Your body will regulate things. The body will let you know when you have too much food. We evolved for this. No animal in the wild has to count calories. That's another major thing I like about the carnivore diet. I don't have to count calories. Things just work. It might take more time. Sure, I could do, do, try to do these tricks and stuff like that, but I'm busy. I'm trying to run businesses. I'm trying to trade. I'm trying to work out to. I'm trying to read and get as much information to fuel my writing. I don't have time to count calories. It's boring. I don't like it. So stop counting calories. Get on a carnivore diet and watch the fat melt off.